Hey guys, welcome back to another reaction. Let me let me just say this really quick. Disney, Walt Disney, as a company, they're not perfect. You know, they um, they made some really uh, questionable uh, decisions um, as a corporate. You know, and got criticized. You know, uh, for for that. And you know, it it, it just they're not perfect. Um, but if if you are if you're a film fan if you are someone who love going to the the movie theater who love going to you know the cinema to enjoy your time if you're someone who love films someone who appreciate the the art of filmmaking you ju you just cannot deny the fact that for generations for generations Disney has been putting out you know movies after movies that will you know that that connect with your childhood you know and you, you just can't you just can't deny the the magic of, of of disney movies that being said right now i feel like right now they should they should slow down a bit that's my personal opinion i think they should slow down a bit because other than the Marvel and the Star Wars movies, some some of their um, you know live action remakes have been um, you know underwhelming to say the least. Um, look at uh, look at um, uh, Dumble, not the best you know critical, not not the most critical acclaimed movie. Um, look at. Um, but the, the the new Aladdin movie, getting criticized for its designs and all that, um, or even the first Maleficent movie, you know, I enjoy it, but it's not it's not great. So to this is actually a really, a really a really risky move to make a sequel to to Maleficent because I thought Maleficent was perfectly you know enjoyable, but it was so it was so different from the original source material that some people was kind of turned off by it. Um, personally, I, I enjoyed the movie, but I I didn't think that they were gonna make a sequel because honestly, I think a sequel to Maleficent is kind of pointless. But they uh, it looks like they're making it, and it's gonna be out in October eighteenth. It's called Maleficent Mistress of Evil. Whatever that means. Alright. So is she evil now? Like what? I don't get it. Alright, just watch the trailer. Or the teaser. Here we go. Boom. I remember the story of an evil witch. The princess she cursed to sleep forever. Mm. But that didn't happen though. I don't think. But this is no fairy tale. There are many who prey on the innocent. I'm sure your kind would agree. If I didn't know better, I'd say you were making a threat. Well, do you? Do I what? No better. Damn. Angelina Julie doesn't really age, I don't think. Oh my god, new outfit and everything. Okay, okay, not bad. Let me uh let me read the um the description. Let's see what what's the sorry. What's the story this time? See, all of a sudden she's evil. And I don't think I, t I can't really remember, but I don't think she um she tricked um the sleeping beauties. What what's her name? I can't think of her name right now. <laughs> um but she didn't really 
Oh, uh, Aurora, Princess Aurora. She didn't really put any curse on her in the first movie, did she? They developed this really beautiful, like, mother-daughter um, relationship. And she was her um, true love uh, kiss at, at the end, so. Maleficent Mistress of Evil is a fantasy adventure that picks up several years after after the first Maleficent movie, okay? In which audience learn of the events that harden it the heart of the Disney most notorious villain and drove her to the curse to curse a baby princess Aurora. The film continues to explore the co- the comp- the complex relationship between the horn fairy and the soon to be queen as they form new alliance and face new adversaries in their struggle to protect the Moors and the magical creatures. The views are anything by while keep running. Okay, that's right. I honestly don't know what they are doing with this uh, sequel. I mean, I'm, I'm going to see it, obviously. Number one is a Disney movie, and number two, I'm a huge fan of uh, Angela Julie. Angelina Julie. <laughs> this is Angela. Angelina Julie. Um, and honestly, I don't think the teaser looks bad at all. I don't think this teaser looks bad at all. It's, just, it's a bit confusing story-wise, but I don't think it looks bad. Visually, it looks stunning. There's some shot of Maleficent flying with the wings out and all that. It looks really, really cool. But it's just a story. Um, I don't know. It's I think it's going to be interesting to, to see. With the with the Disney um the Disney like live action remakes because I feel like because because um like the the original movies are so beloved it's hard for you know filmmakers to take liberties um with with the with the remakes but I think with the Maleficent stories especially the first one Disney took a huge risk um and for the most part, I think it, it paid off. Um, because I, honestly, I really enjoyed the first uh, Maleficent movie. 7 out of 10 in my book, honestly. So, guys. It's number 2 on trending. That's not bad. Uh, official teaser, Disney Maleficent, Mistress of Evil. What do you think is going on here? What do you think of the, the teaser itself? Let me know in the comment section down below. Oh, bef- before I go, um, so again... Another plug for um, uh, the, the the student group that I that I'm in, Studio U. We just put out uh, our newest uh, comedy sketch. It's called Fahrenheit U of M. It's a really <laughs> ridiculous uh, premise. So it's like a a uh, illiteracy protest. You know, like people who don't want to read. People who believe that reading is uh, is pointless. That you know, in order to to be successful in life, you don't need to know how to read. So those uh, people, it's, it's basically like a a mockumentary kind of like a news segment, but you know, it's a fake one, fake news, um, of a group of students who you know firmly believe that they do not need to know how to read. So and uh, I was uh, I was lucky enough to. Uh, to be part of it, I act in it, did a little bit of uh, editing myself, and uh, I, I think it's really fun. I mean, obviously I'm biased, but it, I would really appreciate it if, if you guys could go over there to, to the channel, um, to Studio U, Studio U's uh, YouTube channel and check out our latest uh, uh, sketch comedy. Uh, so if you're watching, sh- a big shout out to uh, Josie, Celia for writing this uh, dope ass script. And uh, Claire for being such a wonderful uh, project manager to work with. Um, so yeah. So guys, uh, Disney Maleficent Mistress of Evil. Let me know in the comment section how you feel about it. If you like it, if you not like it. And if you enjoy my reaction, hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to see more reactions like this. With that being said, I'll see you soon.